What happened to you? Raiders. That's what... Those bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. The Caps? You got yourself a deal. Oh. Thank God. So, Harvey bagged another sucker to help his family. Can't believe that gag still works. And she's off! Let's hope our latest prey can draw a little... Yeah, boss. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then we're going to give these folks a show. A show? Where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. You think that power armor will do you any good? Think again. All right, Gage. Let her through. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy this. It's almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Survival time against Coulter still stands at 1 minute 37 seconds. You're gonna drag that junk around. The stands are filling up fast. Better hurry, cuz for losers, it's standing room only. Get up! Alright, listen the hell up. If you wanna make it out of this alive, I've only got a minute. If I need a you should see some of the blokes I beat up at the combat Time's zone. Time's wasting here. Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. What the hell is this place? You make it through this alive, I'll explain everything. Yeah? And what's in it for you? This ain't just about what's in it for me. Both of us reap the rewards if you pull this off. All right, I'm listening. My kind of gal. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill. But this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coder. His power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? No. Oh, so he's a cheating coward. Gotcha. Doesn't have a fair bone in his body. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Our 
parts of the arena is down by 30%. You do that? Not bad. Is You're this still gonna need a the gun, squirt gun? But that ought to help. Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. You're just going to have to trust It's cold as electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. Let's do this! 
sure, Gage? You better know what the hell you're doing. Hey, we're talking about this. She survived the gauntlet. She was smart enough to take my advice, strong enough to kill Coulter. She's what we need. How about we show some respect for our new leader, eh? She'll get respect when she earns respect. Amen. Enough of this, sir. This phone is to the end. Why are you All right, all right. Now get the hell out of here. I'll show the boss around. Hey. What did I tell you? Worked like a charm. Thanks to you. Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. First you lure me in here, and now you want me to run the place. Something like that. Let me explain. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg, just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions. But this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. Let's keep the conversating between us, okay? Meet me in the overboss quarters. I'm all for taking all we can, but you're looking a little way down there. Over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, hey, just wanted to say no hard feeling. All right, we can throw your ass outside the park. Maybe whoa, whoa, you were in on this? Yeah, pretty much. But it's not what you think. 
I mean, it's... It's just I didn't really have any choice in the matter. You lied to me. I know. And I'm sorry. But if you ever cared about anyone, you'd do the same thing. I don't have any family. Living family. I lost them when Coulter and his gangs took this place from us. Now, these traitors are all I have left. They're my family now. Every time Coulter sent me out to lure people into the gauntlet, I didn't have a choice. I had to do it, or he'd kill someone I cared about. I'm just sorry you had to get caught up in all this. Whatever. I don't need to hear your boring sob story. Hey, as long as we're cool, man. I don't want any trouble. Have a minute? Got something on my mind. It's been real busy lately. I guess things are going well. Welcome home, boss. The digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Colter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control now that you're in charge. I still don't get it. Why put me in charge? You may have noticed that our former overboss, Coulter, was a fucking asshole. And that's me being nice. Ended up being poisoned for this whole operation. The way I see it, surviving the gauntlet means you've got what it takes. Or at least the potential. For a good while now, we've needed someone who can get shit done, make real progress. I'm really running the show now. Let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? No, oh, sure. I understand. So, are you just gonna paint the bullseye directly on my back, or what? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. It's a part of the reason you won't see me stepping up and running things. But I'm telling you, it ain't gonna be that bad. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. A lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we pushed in through the front gate. Take over Nuka Town. Get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was... is... a real mess. What kind of a mess am I walking into here? It was little shit at first. Heated tempers, arguments, the occasional shooting. Got worse over time, though. Gangs started staking out as much territory as they could. All being on top of each other like this. Started looking for excuses to turn on each other. If something ain't done soon to settle things down, it's gonna reach a point there ain't no coming back from. Coulter couldn't pull this off? He was weak. Didn't deserve to be in charge. Tell me about it. I thought he had what it took, so I helped arrange this whole deal. Didn't work out. But now that you're here, we got a second shot. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? 
walked you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them. But you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Come on, they're raiders. They ain't hard to figure out. Tell them you like how violent they are, or that you'll shower them in caps. Just don't oversell yourself. They'll listen, if they're all afraid of me. Okay, settle down. Most of these psychos have seen shit that'd scare your nightmares. They're not gonna be that easy to intimidate. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. What happens after they're on my side? Then, we get started on taking over the rest of Nuka World. But, one step at a time. You in? Okay. Let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right woman for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Wow, that doesn't look half bad. Walkins wear me out. Watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. Oh, girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up, he knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? 
As long as she doesn't get in my way, I don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. Make sure the others get the message. <laughs> hey there. Look like much to me. So, one more talk. Just little pet talk to Misha. I'm enjoying myself, you know, out in the combat zone. A few beds, a few drinks. Last I checked, I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. Rules just hold us back. We should be free to do what we want. That's what I was trying to tell Coulter all along. Maybe if he listened, he'd still be around. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. How many lives has this gauntlet claimed? Who's counting? It's at least enough to keep the traders busy. We like to send them in to clean out the bodies whenever things get ripe in there. They don't always make it out alive, of course. The gauntlet never sleeps. Hey. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here, and never followed through. So you better not screw this up, because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. <laughs> Are you questioning me? You're over, boss? Not questioning. Just curious. We were wrong about Coulter. We won't make the same mistake twice. I'm gonna do things my way, whether you approve or not. Oh yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up, and I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises, and you'll do what I say. I once knew a man with an attitude like that. I let him live just long enough to regret it. But if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here. So if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Any herbologist crazies? Just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Nisha really only has one rule around here. Don't get caught. Heard you put a pretty good beat down on Val. Yeah. I was out of smoke since she didn't want to be Got it for searching. Can't give up now. 